With the number of people getting cancer on the rise, everyone is scared. Cancer can affect anyone at any time, regardless of their age, gender, ethnicity, lifestyle, or genetics. Having worked in oncology for so long, I know this firsthand because I've treated babies with cancer, 20-year-olds with breast cancer, people with stage 4 lung cancer who have never smoked a day in their lives. It's absolutely heartbreaking and something needs to be done. Although treatments have come a long way and people with cancer are living longer than ever, there are still way too many people dying from it each year. But there is hope. Cancer treatment is on the brink of changing drastically. Treatments will soon be more personalized, targeted, effective, cause less side effects, and will help people to live longer. In this video, I'll be diving into some of the most promising breakthroughs for those who have cancer, those who have loved ones with cancer, or those of us who have yet to be diagnosed with cancer. Some amazing developments are being made not only for cancer treatment, but also for cancer screening and detection. One of the biggest problems we've always faced is that it's really hard to tell whether or not there are cancer cells left over in a patient's body after they've finished treatment. After treatments like chemo, surgery, or radiation therapy, doctors can only predict if a patient is cancer-free. They don't know for sure if all of their cancer cells were killed or if they've spread to another part of the body. That's why they have to closely follow up with their patients even years after they finish cancer treatment in case their cancer shows up again in diagnostic scans or if the patient starts having symptoms of cancer recurrence. Doctors and scientists know that this is a major issue with cancer treatment, and that's why a lot of the focus in cancer research has been to change this. Overall, cancer treatment has always been and is still very generalized. For example, if you have chemotherapy, you're prescribed drugs that are common for your type of cancer, which have worked for others with a similar diagnosis, but there's no guarantee that they'll work for you. The good news is that we're moving away from this approach and we'll soon be entering an era of personalized cancer treatment. This new approach will tailor your treatment to the characteristics and behaviors of your personal cancer cells. You see, every cancer is unique and so are the patients affected by it. Personalized cancer treatment means that instead of using a one-size-fits-all approach, doctors will be looking at your cancer on a molecular level and digging into your cellular DNA to figure out what went wrong, how and why your cancer developed in the first place. This will help them to create an effective treatment just for you, targeting the specific weaknesses of your cancer cells. Because they can identify the changes in your cells that might be causing your cancer to grow and spread, they can select the most effective therapies to treat it, and this is called targeted therapy. Whether it's blocking the signals that cancer cells use to grow or shutting down the blood supply to tumors, targeted therapies are revolutionizing the way we treat cancer. These will be way more effective than the treatments we have now. And because they're more targeted, it means that there's less harm to healthy cells, so patients will have fewer side effects as a result. This game-changing approach will also help to reduce the risk of people's cancer coming back, so a lot more people will be able to beat cancer for good. Now, of course, personalized treatments aren't perfect, they also have their challenges, and unfortunately, there's still a lot of work to be done to make them more accessible and affordable for everyone. But I know we'll be hearing a lot more about them in the near future. Now let's talk immunotherapy, which is like training your own immune system to recognize and destroy cancer cells. Although it's been used to treat cancer for a long time now, recent advancements in immunotherapy have been transforming the outcomes for cancer patients, especially people with melanoma, leukemia, and lung cancer. Immunotherapy has been offering hope to some patients that haven't responded well to treatments like chemo or radiation. For example, a groundbreaking drug called Keytruda has been driving advanced and even deadly cancers into remission. Now, I know a lot of people aren't a fan of artificial intelligence. I mean, it's scary. We don't know how it's going to change or affect life as we know it. But something amazing that it is doing is helping us predict the outcomes that certain immunotherapy drugs will have on a certain type of cancer. This is all thanks to the data we have from thousands of cancer patients in the past. It's also helping researchers better tailor immunotherapy drugs to be more effective and save more lives. Now listen to this. You may have already heard of the term cancer vaccines. Unlike vaccines that protect us from viruses, cancer treatment vaccines are for people who already have cancer. They're a form of immunotherapy and they help us build immunity against tumors. All vaccines work by training your immune system to defend your body against foreign invaders that pose a threat to you. So basically, cancer vaccines will train your body to protect itself against the cancer cells inside of it. As always, I'm not going to dive too deeply into the nitty gritty science behind this because I know you appreciate it when I give you more of a summary of what you need to know. But basically, the way cancer vaccines work is that scientists can take a patient's cancer biomarker or DNA and create a personalized cancer vaccine for that patient. They can then inject it near the site of the tumor in hopes of boosting the amount of immune cells in that area, which can slow down or stop the growth of 
the cancer cells. Most vaccines are still in the investigational stage of a clinical trial, but there are already some that will be able to treat a variety of cancers, like melanoma, breast, and lung cancer, for example. Also, listen to this. A German company has developed a vaccine for pancreatic cancer, which is one of the most deadly types of cancer, and although it's still in a clinical trial phase, it's proving to be successful at delaying cancer recurrence for several people with pancreatic cancer, which is absolutely amazing. But some challenges with vaccines are that they don't work as well for people with compromised immune systems or for those who have larger tumors, which tend to have more immune suppressive cells that are more powerful than the immune cells targeted to attack them. As I'm sure you're aware, one of the most important factors at being able to cure cancer is finding it early. This usually means finding it in an early stage before it has spread to other parts of the body. Until now, doctors have had to rely on a series of medical tests to determine if one of their patients has cancer, like blood work, imaging scans, and biopsies, which, depending on where you live, can take several weeks, even months, and some more aggressive cancers can spread within that time. But luckily, there are now several companies that have developed a single blood test that can detect cancer quickly and accurately. There are already some on the market now that can detect over 50 different types of cancer from your blood proteins or your DNA, and some are proving to be over 90% accurate. And if you're thinking, well, that's great, but I've already had cancer, so how does that help me? Well, some of these blood tests will also be able to detect cancer recurrence even months before it's detectable in an imaging scan. This is huge. All tumors, no matter how small, send out proteins and genetic material into our bloodstream. Researchers have been taking advantage of this by developing what are called liquid biopsies. These tests can not only detect cancer in your blood, but can also track the status of cancer in patients undergoing treatment. This means they can be used to see if their cancer treatments are working or not. The biggest benefit of liquid biopsies is that they're obviously a lot less invasive and they're more convenient than traditional biopsies, but they'll also be really helpful for people who live in rural areas where they don't have easy access to hospitals or for elderly people who aren't able to easily travel back and forth for diagnostic tests. Also, less hospital visits mean less of a burden on clinics and doctors, which is why it's in the government's favor to make these tests available and widely acceptable as soon as possible. You may have already seen ads for these cancer screening blood tests, or maybe some doctors are already recommending them, and hopefully some insurance companies are already starting to cover some of them. But unfortunately, at least at the time I'm recording this video, for the most part, we still have to pay out of pocket for these tests, and they're not cheap. However, I think this will change as soon as they prove to be consistently accurate. Another exciting and up-and-coming development in cancer treatment is called nanotechnology. By using tiny nanoparticles, researchers can deliver drugs directly to cancer cells, minimizing the damage to nearby healthy cells in the process. So nanotechnology has the potential to make treatments like chemotherapy more effective while reducing side effects. This can also be beneficial for developing new diagnostic tools and imaging techniques that can improve early detection and treatment monitoring for cancer patients. I just find this so cool. These advancements are undeniably exciting, but we need to remember that some of these treatments are still in the early stages of development, and unfortunately, not everyone will be a candidate for them. But the future of cancer treatment is looking brighter than ever. From immunotherapy to precision medicine, nanotechnology, and liquid biopsies, researchers are making huge strides in the fight against cancer that gives us all hope. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments below and share it with somebody who may benefit from it. Bye for now.